Good morning, traders. Well, equities are green across the board in Thursday's session, led by the NASDAQ, uh, which was up almost 200 points on um, renewed AI optimism after Google unveiled its newest AI model, Gemini. Uh, but it was the FX space where most of the big moves happened. Uh, Japanese yen surged, uh, had its best day in 2023 on the back of hawkish commentary from Bank of Japan Governor Ueda. Hinted, he did hint at the end of the central bank's easy money policy, uh, not too far in the distance. So this saw a, a flash crash in dollar yen to around 41.60 lows before the pair did find some support at the 200-day moving average. Uh, a big driver of this pair has been the carry trade. Um, so traders, that's traders cashing in on the rate differentials between the U.S., and Japanese uh, bonds. So talk of rate hikes in Japan is, is a really big factor of where this uh, pair will go next. Um, this move in dollar yen also rippled across other dollar crosses with uh, AUD, USD performing particularly well. Uh, it really was the, the dip in the dollar, a risk on mar market sentiment and rise in iron ore prices also helped. Um, Aussie US tested that major support at the top of its September to November, November range around 65 US cents uh, before bouncing strongly through its 200 day moving average and reclaiming that 66 handle. Uh, gold continued to kind of move sideways, um, holding above that 2009 key support level there. Um, it had a modest up session. The, the gold bulls may be a little bit disappointed with the gains, though, considering the size of the drop in the US dollar on Thursday. So they'll be watching that 2009 very closely um, coming into tonight's non-farm payroll. Talking about non-farm payroll, this is the last big figure before next week's FOMC. So expect some volatility if we uh, see a, a result well outside um, the expected range.